welcome to another video from Scott's Crazy Builds. Um, today, I brought the jet bike to this excellent uh, farm to do some afterburner testing for the second time. Obviously, last time I came here, it didn't go very well and there were problems um, with the idle of the engine. <laughs> Fingers crossed, today we're going to get the afterburner mapped and dialed in. So it's probably worth me just actually describing what the afterburner is, how it works. This sort of design of afterburner was perfected by uh, Richard Staveley in the UK and I've scaled his design on this bike. And just to sort of show you how it actually works. So here is the afterburner and basically what happens is air comes in and there's a step change in diameter which causes a vortex to be formed and a big sort of toroid of rolling air. And that is because the air is going so quick that you need something to anchor the flame. That gets sparked and then hopefully the flame anchors here and fuel burns out. Now the afterburner on this, because it operates at such low pressure, it doubles the thrust of the engine, but at a cost of four times the uh, fuel consumption. So full power, this thing's going to be burning five litres a minute. Um, it's only got a 10 litre tank. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of how, how it happens. Now, I've got uh, new controls that I've fitted onto the handlebar here. Two little pots. And with these, I can basically uh, alter the idle of the engine and how much fuel goes into the afterburner. Now the ECU, which is in here, um, is going to automatically fuel the afterburner according to the boost of the engine. But at the minute, I don't know what that should look like, whether it's a linear uh, relationship or exponential. But I mean, today, hopefully, we're going to find that out. So here goes. the smoke function just to see how it is. Okay, well, that was uh, really positive. Um, obviously the afterburner's running and um, we think that we've found the kind of sweet spot at which it likes to start at and it runs at cleanly throughout the whole range of throttle um, with a linear relationship on the fueling. Um, so yeah, we've had a little bit of melting going on on the seat. Nothing too major, hopefully. It's actually on this back panel here, um, which is just melted a little bit around there and on these bolt holes but 
other than that, the bike is running nicely and um, hopefully good enough now to take to the track. So on that note, I'd just like to finish this video by reopening the competition to win a free Scott's Crazy Bills t-shirt for the person who gets the closest guess to the top speed of the jet bike. So um, post your answers below. How many miles an hour do you think this will do? Um, good luck and uh, the next video, we'll be taking this to the track. Cheers.